The other, and this will be the only time I do this, the other test note is uh, I'm going to ask you how many books did John write? Guess how many books he wrote. Say it out loud. Good. The reason why, if you see something and say something and hear something, you will remember it about 80% of the time. So that's why the more active you are, that you're hearing it, you're seeing it, you write it and you hear it and you see it and you say it, it's about 90% of the time. Uh, he wrote the Gospel of John, 21 chapters, 1 John 5 chapters, 2 John 1 chapter, 3 John 1 chapter, Revelation 22 chapters. He wrote a fifth of the New Testament. Isn't that amazing? There are only 260 chapters. He did about 50 of them. How long does it take to read the whole Bible through if you're in the sixth grade out loud? Very good. Which of you did not say that? Why don't you say it now so you'll remember it? Good. <laughs> it's 72 hours. Start thinking how long you game, how long you music video, how long you shop, how long you social media, how long you doctor your photos so you get you know, more people looking at them. And then compare that to, you know, that's all nice stuff. None of that is sin, but none of it lasts forever. But the word of God lives and abides forever. And the more you understand the word of God, the more you look like Jesus Christ. And the more you understand life. And the more Jeremiah said this, thy words were found, Jeremiah 15, 16, thy words, the Bible was found, and I did eat them. That's how he described devotional time, eating the Bible. And thy word was for me, listen, the joy and rejoicing of my heart. You want to have joy and rejoicing? It, it's connected to eating the Bible. Yet most Christians have never read the whole Bible. You guys are, are in the, you're normal. Most Christians have not read the whole Bible. They just kind of do this, you know. They open uh, like roulette or they just read over and over their favorite stuff. God says, Jesus said, Matthew 4, 4, man shall not live by bread alone, but by what? Every. Did you catch that? Every word of God brings life. Okay, Revelation's first verse is its theme. It's the only book of the Bible with the promised blessing for reading it. So all that is on your test, and I want you all to do well. How do you understand the Bible? You guys have hermeneutics, right? Someone teaches that. Here's your 30-second hermeneutics. Understanding and interpreting the Bible. Correct interpretation is based on the historic, the geographic, the scriptural, combined with grammatic elements. Together, you have the correct. Now, when you're in seminary, which is a step beyond Bible college, they teach what are called the canons of textual interpretation. Do you know what the first canon of textual interpretation is? The first rule of textual interpretation is this. What did God mean when he spoke to the original recipients of that portion of Scripture? Did you know there's only one interpretation of every verse in the Bible? How many? What is that one? What God intended when he communicated it to the first group of people. Did you know it's vitally important to know who God is talking to? When is he talking? What's the context? What words did he choose to use? In fact, the Bible says every word of God is inspired. All scripture is given by inspiration. You covered that, right? Theopneustos is the word in Greek. Theo means God. Pneustos means to breathe out. God breathed out his word. This book is not like any other book in the world. Yet I meet people, they have read every, you know, uh, military spy novel, every romance novel, every sports, you know, whatever. They are reading all that and consuming their life with filling their mind with interesting stuff. This is the only one that's the actual voice of God. When I opened this morning, you know, I got up at, I don't know, 5.45 or something, 5.30, I don't know. When I opened my Bible, I was hearing God talk. Do you know how comforting it is to hear the voice of God? You say, you mean in your speaker's apartment you were hearing voices? No, I didn't say that. I said, when I open my Bible and read it, I am hearing God's voice. These are the, what is it called? Word of God. Each of these words are God speaking. There's nothing like this in the whole world. Once you get into this, this is more fascinating than anything. 
because you're actually hearing God reveal himself to us. And he wrote this because this is everything we need for life and godliness and for being full of joy and peace.